Hey guys, what you take your shirt here, and today we're back with another episode of Let's Build a Mansion, episode 26 now, we're climbing the numbers. Last episode we left off here at the dining room, and I really, really like it. Once again, it's one of those builds that I come back to after a couple of days, and I'm like, ooh, I don't think it needs to be changed, I think it's good the way it is. <laughs> so we're gonna leave it the way it is, I love the floor design, but today... What we're gonna do, we're actually gonna put jungle wood here so it can combine with this room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. There we go. Perfect. We're gonna get rid of that now. So today, we're gonna be working on the kitchen. For some reason, whoa, 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 wrong wood. Wrong wood. Wrong shade of wood. For some reason, I am very excited about doing this room. I have no idea why. I'm just like very gassed up, very excited uh, about doing this room in the house. So. We're gonna fill up the room here with birch, and I was debating, you see that bottom, the top left hand corner has a little bit of a gap in it, but I think in most kitchens anyway, I mean the kitchen I have in my house um, has a sort of like a square, uh, like a square in it, square perimeter, so I'm gonna get my blue terracotta, my, oh, my snow, I need snow too, maybe we might keep that, but it has the stair right here. Actually, we don't even need that stair. We could just keep it, Cooper. Ah, we bust through. We can't do that because that leads right to the stairs right here. So, we're going to have to cover that up. And that's no problem. We could just... Honestly, we could just put the pink there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. So, it's, ma it's mainly square anyway. It is very dark in here. <laughs> But, okay, so the first part of the kitchen, oh, I, don't, I have a bad habit of doing that, but the first thing we want to do, we want to have a marble type floor. Remember, this is a modern type kitchen. So we want to go with black and white, I think. And as we're going to go with quartz, probably, as much as the furniture or iron, let's go, let's try a block of quartz. So we have a couple options here. Uh, one, we can either go like this we got to go diagonal do we want to use quartz or do i want to use a different i don't like that quartz it, there's no lines of, as you, can you see that the black on here it has like these marble textures it kind of like a little bit bumpy a little bit it kind of looks more realistic for in a kitchen so, and look at this it's very plain it as these lines in the middle but i don't really like them we could go with chiseled Yeah, see, look at chisel. It has these lines in the middle. It kind of looks like tiles on the floor. There we go. That's the word. Tiles. But I don't like that. I don't like, th I don't like the pattern like that. Maybe we can... Um, let's get rid of the block of quartz for now. I'll just toss it away. <laughs> Maybe we could do this instead. Uh, let's just show that one. Move that one down like that. Yeah, that is much better, much better. I do like that one. So lighting is going to be very important here. So in this kitchen, what I'm planning to do, uh, we'll talk about what's going to be in this kitchen while I do the floor, the boring floor. This won't take that long. I don't think it's worth cutting away. We just started recording the episode. So <laughs> so what do I plan with this kitchen? So I want cabinets. Obviously, I want to have... Um, an island in the middle is something I want. In my kitchen, in my real life kitchen, I don't have an island. I don't have a dishwasher. Uh, so there's some things. I don't have a splashback. Uh -huh. So there's a lot of things in my kitchen in real life that's missing in, that I'm going to make here in Minecraft. I think that's going to be cool. Just to see what it, it uh, just to get a new perspective, if you like, uh, of what uh, it's going to look like. I think it's going to be cool uh, to have it. So let's just finish off this floor. It's a really nice texture. It's so dark. I can't, like, I'm, I'm so obsessed right now with how dark it is in here for some reason. But <laughs> but let's just fill, fill this in. There we go. Look at this. I don't know. For me, it, for, I don't know. For, it kind of looks too big for a kitchen. I don't know. It's just my opinion. I don't know. It just seems really big and 
massive for a kitchen. But we have a big dining room, so we need a big kitchen. So there we go. That's the nice floor that we're going to go with. Now, do we want to go with block of iron for some cupboards? For our countertops? I think so. Oh, we missed one. Yeah, block of iron. So, do we want to go like around this corner? What's here? Oh, we have a room here. Let's grab the snow. Let's, we'll go two down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we could go block of block of iron or block not block of quartz block of iron. That's the snow. Oh my god, I got too many blocks in my inventory. <laughs> um, maybe like that instead. Maybe. How does that look? I like that. I don't like any cabinets here. I like this three wide wall. Do we want to go one more higher? Or should we go a second block higher? I think a second block higher would be too high. So let's go one block high. Let's see if we need all these cabinets. It's a big kitchen. Just picture that. So uh, just imagine it as I build it. How it would look like in real life. I don't like the amount of cabinets we have in this corner. So we need to break a couple of them there. And I think that's good. I like the cabinets that we have in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that corner. I like this being a little bit open. So an island in the middle. So where is the middle of the room about? Like this gives us four blocks. So this gives us three blocks. But if we had this here, it gives us three blocks. So, so let's go around here. Is this three blocks? That's four there, three there. So we have to go one more wider. So that's how, oh, that's a nice island. Maybe we need that one there and break that one. Maybe. We'll see. Something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a nice island already. So it's a big island in the middle. So if you don't know an island, it's kind of like a, a table in the middle, if you like. It's like a table in the middle with like, it has a sink in it. I know the one in my school, because I go to class there, has a dishwasher and it has an island in the middle and it has a sink attached to it with a bunch of cupboards too. So... Do we want to go another block high? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. I don't think... No, no, no. It's not there. It's above the stove. It has the extractor fan. This one doesn't. Yeah, and the island in the middle, it's not like this, but I do like it like that. Okay, so now for lighting. I think we, we need to do some clever lighting here. Let's grab some glowstone. And let's grab some white stained glass. And then we can put some glass along there. And then some glowstone. And then another layer. I love the iron. Again, it's like a nice strong type block. I don't know how to describe it. It looks really cool. See, look at that. I think that looks good already. It adds lighting, first of all. Um, it, I don't know what it, it looks like. I don't know. It's just like a double island again with cabinets up there. It's not going to have any cabinets up there. That's just what's going to hold it up. But I don't like the iron there because it blends in with everything. Because this is mainly just to hold it up. We're not going to have cabinets on here. So do we want to go with like chisel maybe? Along here. And then with pillar quartz. Not snow. Pillar quartz. But which way? That's not pillar quartz. This is pillar quartz though. We can go destroy. Knock out these ones. And I have pillar quartz. Facing this way. Yes. I like that. It's a different texture block, and then we can have buttons, I think, just to add some detail on each side. I don't know what these would represent, but I think this looks cool. There we go. I'm trying to base it off of what it looks like in my school, because I, I, I go to kitchen class. We call it hospitality. Um, so I'm trying to base it off of that. So it has an island like that. There we go. That looks cool. All right. Like I said earlier, I mentioned earlier, uh, it has a sink in the middle. So we're going to have a sink here. Do we want two sinks or do we want one sink? I think we want two sinks because this is a big rich. We can imagine that this, this is a, a fancy rich house. So I have two sinks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, maybe we want them across the side from each other. No, we can't. Actually, we want to move this one over Why one. You know, I'll tell you why, guys why in a second. That's not the right block. We'll move that one over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we can have block of iron 
No, that's an ugly block. Uh, chisel? No. I think pillar. That's snow. Pillar. I got rid of the pillar. I'm getting really confused right now, guys. Yes, and we can have taps. So basically, I'm going to do this. We're going to grab... We'll grab both tripwire and levers. We'll grab item frame. And it will grab blue and red because these are going to act like hot and cold taps. So tripwire hooks or levers. I think a tripwire hook does look better. It represents more of a tap. So we could go like this, a hot and cold tap. Or we can have, can we have a double sink? I think a double sink looks better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A double sink there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now we put item frames and then we put hot and then cold tap. And then you can just reverse it if you want to. So you know how in my shower, for instance, I have I have a it's kind of like a spin if you like. You spin it around, you adjust it a little bit if you like. You move it around and then see how much cold you want and how much hot you want, depending on which way you twist it. That that's the thing I'm trying to aim for here. So I think that looks cool. And then I want I don't know what you call it at the top of my head now but it's the what do you call it a drawing board no drawing board yes a drawing board I think that's what it's called a drawing board so yeah let's put black on here I'm trying to search it up as we speak if I'm being honest a drawing board so when, when you're done uh, washing the dishes you have that thing I don't it's called the drawing board I think drying board I keep saying drying drying it's a drying board I think is what it's called inside a house yes it's called a drying board where you put all the clean dishes onto here for example right so we're not gonna have a dishwasher I think I'm not sure yet but that looks cool a drying board all right so what is essential to a kitchen cookers now typically i would go with furnaces but for this version we do have smokers and we do have blast furnaces so should i go with one of each where do we want this then we want it far as far away like we can have it like this is one two three four watt here one two three four is that in the middle Yes, but I think a four wide cooker would be What does a blast furnace look like? I like the blast furnaces. Do I like the smokers though? I don't like oh the smokers don't look too bad I might go with the you know what I'm gonna change it up a little bit and go with smokers, but however This is really long for a range my my oven Or my stove has it's like a two wide range Let's just assume it's really expensive and it's a four ride. What I like to do is get a detector rail to act like hobs. If you don't know what hobs are, they're like those like is it these ones. Yeah, yeah, hobs. They're like the the red circle that you get. You can search them on Google. They're called hobs. They're like the circle that you get when you turn on the stove. This is where it gets heated up and stuff. So let's just assume at my stove we have like. Five, it's, a, it's a two wide one has two in each so I was like one two one two but this one it could have one two two times four eight hobs on it <laughs> so you could cook eight things at once if you wanted to so it's a really really unhealthy not unhealthy why do I say unhealthy really dangerous there we go dangerous type of stove there all right so after that what else do we want here cabinets there we go um, yes, we do have cabinets all the way around here. Remember, there's only a certain amount of limit that we can go with item frames. So, we, we can have cabinets all the way along here. There we go. Along there. Along there. Probably not. We'll knock out actually those one. I'll, I'll knock out. Uh, we'll knock out those blocks. Like, mumbling and stuttering right now. But, we'll knock out those blocks. That could. Oh. Do we need all these? I think, honestly, I think we can get rid of this one. I think. Let's get rid of that one for now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this is all we need. 
So I'll tell you guys what I'm going to do there later. Uh, so now, I feel like if we put them on the side, it would look ugly. Yeah, it looked too, it looks took too much in my opinion. Yeah, that looks much better. Let's put the item frames along here. There we go. And then we're going to get our white carpet. And it would be unsafe to have a pullover drawer up here, I think. So we're going to make these, the top ones are going to be like the, the open ones, the open cabinets. So these ones will have like the, the cups, the cutlery, all that kind of stuff that you can think of. Plates, dishes, all that kind of stuff. These ones, more safer down below, are going to have the uh, the pullover ones. I think it's just much, much more safe. That's like literally the best. The, that's how best I could justify why. So we could have all this down here. All these coverts right here. I don't think anyone would ever have this many coverts in, in their house. I don't think so. This is a lot of coverts. Maybe we want a couple open ones. Like maybe a couple one here. A couple ones there. Um, let's do this one like that. There we go. All these coverts. There we go. Yeah. That looks good. Um, around here, we're going to do something else. I think I'm going to destroy those ones. Yeah. That, there we go. Uh, over there, we'll do something else. All right. So that looks cool. As coverts. And then, on top of the coverts, I know there's like a marbly texture block on top of here. But if we put a slab, I was thinking of going like with a granite. It's kind of almost like a granite. Like a polished granite. It's more like a polish, but as you can see, the slab is a little bit too high. So we're going to have to go with the carpets. And I think the best one is black. Having black, I think along here, it looks really posh, first of all. Uh, marbly, do you know when you look at like a posh marbly? Not there. We'll do it on top of here too. You know when you look at like a Milky Way, like a galaxy? It looks terrific. That's the type I want to see on top of this. We'll do on top of here too. Um, we can't do on top of the sinks. It makes like the the drying board look much better like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that looks already looks amazing. Yes, this kitchen's looking really nice. All right. <sighs> what else do we want to do in here? Okay, we definitely need a a fridge. So we want a two wide fridge. Well, we don't. I don't really want to go with. Quartz again. We could go with quartz actually. We could we could put it like there. I think. Uh, yeah, we'll save us a couple item frames. So we'll have two there. And then if you want to go a little bit funny, you could go with some dispensers. And then you can have some food in it. We'll put like cooked steak, and we'll put like a, a cookie in it. So we'll have a steak in there, cookie in there, grab some iron doors as the fridge opener. So. When you when you press this, you can't put it there because with the carpet there. See, you could get it shoots out. However, we're gonna have to get rid of that. <laughs> I'm so sorry. We'll have the dispensers there, but I do like the carpet on top better than the button. Yeah. There we go. That's all good. So we got the fridge now. We got the sinks. Over here. I took those four blocks out because I want an extractor fan. My extractor fan is a little bit interesting in my house. We have a, let's get stone brick like that. So we could go like that and a cobblestone wall maybe. I don't like that. I think these ones have to be full blocks. What kind of good stone block? We could go with chiseled. Where's the chisel block? I don't, I'll grab the silver fish. No one will ever mind that. So we could go like that. Yeah, yeah. See the extractor fans? We could go with some buttons on there. So you can turn on. So what uh, for me, it's a little bit interesting. My extractor fan is actually a microwave. So it works as a microwave and a extractor fan, which is actually really cool. So when you, you can put microwave, you can heat up stuff. Also, there's a button. There's like a few options where uh, you can press for an extractor fan with a vent. You can have it on, off, or it's like... Oh, it works as a light too. So you can turn it on, you can imagine, um, and it shows off a light, it shows off a, a vent. So you can turn it off, you turn on the vent to, uh, I think it's medium, high, and low, I think. Low, medium, high, or something like that. And then the lights are just on and off. So it is really, really cool. All right, so now let's, let's 
over here, I think it's a cool area. So obviously during dinner time, I think we want, do we want to go there? Nah, we can save that for shelves. Yes, shelves look nice there, like the nice gray shelves. Yeah, I deliberately left out this space for shelves because I like when it's recessed in like that. Yes, that looks good. All right, so right here, what I wanted, I think, it, yeah, there's enough room to walk by. Even if we added another quartz block, would that look good? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. So over here, we'll have a piston block. We'll have a redstone torch. Over here, we can have a nice bar, a breakfast bar. That's That looks ugly. Yeah, we want it one back. All right. <laughs> oh, God. We got a little bit of a breakfast bar, for the, I think, for them. A little bit of a side table eating. Is that too far or that's good enough? I think that's good. I don't want, you don't want to sit too close. Or do you want to sit one closer? I think you might want to sit one closer. Yeah, there's hardly any room to walk by. So no one's ever going to see those torches. Only I'm going to remember. So we'll, we'll get rid of the, that. Is it chiseled? Yes, it is chiseled. So we'll get rid of these ones. Um... We're going to put that there. I hesitated a little bit. There we go. And now we, they can have whoever could eat here could have places to eat if they want to like a nice little breakfast bar. Um, we could have more shelves, I think, in this corner or maybe just two. Because you need room to get to those shelves. There it goes. That's a nice breakfast bar. It's a little bit plain. Um, maybe we have a painting or something on there. But maybe we'll have some like cups. Maybe they have cups or something on there. There we go. That looks a little bit more less plain. All right. So the roof time. Do we want to go architrave or do we want to put quartz along here? We could go with the architrave. We could try the architrave around here with these quartz. It works out easy because it's a square room. So it's much easier for me. So let's go around here. Architrave. Yes. That looks amazing. Um, lighting. It's a little bit still dark in here. We could go. <sighs> I don't like these. This is. I, I like the anvil one there. But we need the lighting. Like. <clears throat> okay. I'll tell you a little bit. What I don't like about this. I like the plant pots. So if we grab the trap doors. And we grab either grass block. I love the grass block. See look at this. The grass block. With the three high plant looks amazing with the, with the grass block here it lo actually looks nice however it is really really dark in here so i think we might have to go with that one i don't really like it but i think we have to do it yeah it is really dark yeah it does i think we have to do it it, I'm not pleased by it, but we have to do it. Also, we could add a quick hidden little lighting with that black carpet. Beautiful. That lights up that area. Amazing. We could have a couple pictures. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Let's grab a gray carpet and some string. On this level. I know we can have, boom, nice little carpet. Oh, yes. Wait, can we add another one? No, that looked too low. That looks good. I like those paintings. All right, a splashback. I, I've i heard of the term before. I just don't, oh. Because I want more lighting, as much lighting as I can. How? What is that room? Okay, maybe we'll make this another block thick. I don't think it'll be a big deal. So a splashback along here so do we want four of the same paintings then i think we want four of the same let's get rid of this for now so i don't know what a splashback is but i heard i heard my parents talking about getting a new splashback and i asked them i think it was last week literally because i was i was considering doing the kitchen as one of the first rooms i was like oh a splashback i was getting some inspiration looking at our real life kitchen and i was like oh what is that and they said oh a splashback I think we want two to save some paintings. So let's get two of the same. I think the that one looks best. It's like tiles. I like that. Oh yeah, that looks good. 
Let's get back the rails. The detector rails. Can we still put them on here? Oh, that's a W. A splashback. Yes. That looks that looks so cool. I'm not even going to lie. I, I'm really pleased by this. All right. It is still a little bit dark in here. We could squeeze in like a little bit of a lighting there. I don't think it'll bother me too much. You could sort of see it, but it's fine. It is a little bit dark in here too. Let's go over there. Yeah. There you go. I think. Anything else to add in this kitchen? Garbage can? A composter? You know what? A composter along there won't look too bad. Composter is like all the food. Isn't it kind of like the leftover scrap food that, that bugs like to eat? Like banana peels, orange peels, apple cores. I think that's what a comp the purpose of a composter is. But other than that, I think we got everything we need in this kitchen. We got garbage can composter we can act this as a compost and a garbage can so like i think if you throw in like was it raw potatoes or baked potatoes or something yeah see look at that you got bone meal oh you get bone meal from it that looks kind of cool when it's full like that yeah, yeah yeah i like that anything else in this kitchen i think we're good hot and cold taps we got the fridge we got the cookers countertops brilliant we can imagine we have more stuff in here, like utensils, um, cloths, um, you know, drying cloths, utensils, forks, knives, plates, all around here. So we can't really do much with that. But I think that's completed, guys. If you guys want to add anything, feel free to. I like, I like, I just like how it is. So we got the fridge done, or not the fridge, the kitchen done. We have a little bit of an office room in there. Um, over here, we got the dining room. So we got the dining room and the kitchen done. I like it. So now, all the meals that are done will be prepared in here. And then, boom, we could serve it on the table. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Anyway, we are going to be here for the episode. I think, where are we going to move on next episode? We could work on the second lounge, I mean. Yeah, we could connect the fireplace and make a second lounge in here. With like a pool table and stuff. I think that's what I'll do next episode. Because this is bothering me. I like to recreate the... Replicate the, another fireplace on that side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's where we'll head to next episode. But as far as the kitchen goes... I think that's good for the episode, guys. Yeah, yeah. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please hit the like button. If I'm ready, please subscribe. We'll see you in the next episode. I really like this kitchen. Bye!